Welcome to Communicasia 2017. I'm Lachlan Cahoon, Group Editor at Telecom Asia. I'm here with a CS from Huawei. We're talking cloud. We're talking cloud services to operators. Uh, CS, can I just start by asking you uh, Huawei's concept for, uh, for cloud services to operators? Huawei understands on the cloud, uh, we split out into two areas. One is uh, uh, cloud services, and the other one is uh, cloudification on the network. The reason why we look at it is uh, because we are, we are looking from uh, operators uh, communication uh, a network point of view instead of from Amazon, OTT or IT point of view. So if you look at from operators or communication point of view, when you look forward into the, uh, to tap on the cloud era. So basically for operators, we need to uh, transform how the accessing network are able to adapt to the new cloud technologies. So this is where SD and NFT technology come into the pictures. So this part of it, we, we, we categorize as a cloudification on the network. But this is not a real cloud yet. Because uh, to us, we understand cloud as in the form of cloud services. So the operator need to deliver X as a services, it's either the software as a services, infrastructure as a services. So those are the real cloud services. So in respect to this, uh, uh, two domain. So Huawei has uh, uh, has uh, has our own strategies into it. So firstly, in terms of the cloudification, so we have uh, released our all cloud strategies. So this all cloud strategies is the form of uh, uh, a future looking uh, strategy solution that <clears throat> will able to transform an operator's network. So within the all cloud, <clears throat> uh, we have uh, solution components such as the cloud A. Uh, cloud Rain, Cloud Metro, Cloud Core. So this specific solution is going to address into a, a different part of the network. For example, when we talk about Cloud A, so it's something very unique to the industry that we can dynamically allocate the spectrum resources for the base station to utilize. So this is something very unique. So this is how we use the cloud concept or technologies <coughs> into the existing operator's network. So <clears throat> this all cloud strategies uh, will uh, outline uh, for Huawei in the next five to 10 years all our communication network related solution. <clears throat> so besides uh, all cloud parts, so when we come into the cloud services, so Huawei has been uh, not a traditional cloud service uh, player, uh, but recently we have actually started uh, uh, with uh, a few major operators such as uh, uh, Duke Telecom, the T-System, uh, Orange, uh, China Telecom, and Telefonica. So this, we are going into a very different way. So instead of uh, heavily invest in the data centers, so we are going for an uh, alternative path by working very closely with our partners, which is the operators. But we also come into an uh, 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 heavy, invest, he heavy investment path of the cloud services. So we also going to invest in the data centers. So this, we will call it as a Huawei cloud. So this Huawei cloud is not exactly the same as what you're going to see from Amazon, uh, Microsoft Azure, and the Ali cloud. <clears throat> because the way they deliver the cloud services is by providing end-to-end -end services on the IaaS, PS, and, and as, uh, probably on the software as a service as well. But Huawei will go into the cloud services based on different layers and based on different end users group. For example, when we look at from an end user uh, a, a group point of view, we have consumers, uh, we have operators, it's also the users, and then we have the uh, uh, enterprise and the industries, or, or, uh, including the government. So it's the inter enterprise, operators, and consumer. So uh, to Huawei, we look at these three uh, end user segmentation using a different type of cloud services to offer. So to the consumers, we have internal, we call it a video cloud services. So these video clouds, we will aggregate all the global games, video, music, all this content, and we build a platform as a services to deliver to the operators. So operator can tap on this platform to offer a wide label, any kind of entertainment services to the end users.
just looking at the market, how do you think that the Asia-Pacific market uh, differs from what you're seeing uh, other markets around the world? So in Asia-Pacific, uh, uh, the cloud services is not really uh, matured yet. Uh, most of the enterprises, industry and government are not really ready uh, uh, from the mindset point of view and also from uh, uh, technologies and capability point of view. So the tech up rate has been slow besides uh, probably a more developed market like in Singapore here and in Australia. So uh, the cloud services are more um, adopted, used by most of the enterprise customers. Uh, but we see uh, the operator in this kind of region, uh, for example, like Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Thailand, are more in the emerging market operators. So I think they should uh, utilize their strength to go for cloud services in order for them to com compete with the uh, international OTT like Amazon. So, um, so in Huawei, we call it as a X plus cloud. So uh, the operator in this region, they shouldn't offer a similar cloud services just like Amazon and AliCloud. They should offer something different. So that X is their advantage. So today, uh, operators in this market, their advantage is their existing customer, they already uh, deliver the list line services. So the connectivity is their strength. And their uh, large managed account like government is their strength. So they should utilize this strength in terms of the customer base and the network access and bundle it with the cloud. And to create a more unique uh, cloud services to their local customer instead of having just a similar stack of uh, cloud services. Uh, like OTG. Can you tell us more about the points of differentiation between uh, the, the Huawei cloud model for operators uh, and, and other players in the market? Just now we have uh, talked about video uh, platform as a services uh, offering to two as consumers, but again, it's still wire operators. But we have also a software as a services of direct cloud service offering to uh, towards our operators. So basically, we're going to uh, reposition our assessing software product and the services product and bundle it as a, a truly software as a services offering. So it will reduce, uh, it will help to reduce uh, any capex investment upfront uh, from, our from our operator customers. So basically they were just like uh, uh, pay as you use uh, rental models uh, from the operators. So basically uh, in old days we used to sell our billing system, BSS, OSS product towards operators, but now you know, we host this BSS uh, solution in the Huawei cloud and deliver as a services towards our operators. So that is the strategy that we're going to use. So basically for most of our software product, we're going to move it to the cloud and deliver as a cloud services uh, to our operator customer. So that is a significant change in, uh, in our business model to, uh, towards the operators.